Chapter 6, Example 1. Calculate the new kg of the vessel. So in doing this question, we're going to do it by making a table first with four columns. Items, weight, vertical center of gravity, and vertical moment. In the item column, we have the rig. We have cargo that's been loaded, cargo that has been discharged, and cargo that has been shifted. They tell us the rig is 60,000 tons, and it has a vertical center of gravity of 12 meters. You multiply these two together, you get 720,000 ton meters. We've loaded 100 tons, so put a plus in front of the 100 at a vertical center of gravity of 3 meters. You multiply these together, you get a positive vertical moment of 300 ton meters. We've discharged 900 tons, so put a minus sign in front of this at a VCG of 2.5 meters. This will give us a negative vertical moment of 2,250 ton meters. And we've shifted 200 tons, so put a plus minus in front of this because the cargo is still on board. They told us that we shifted it from 8 meters above the keel to 11 meters above the keel, so therefore we've shifted it a total of 3 meters. We multiply these together and because the weight was shifted in an upward direction, we get a positive vertical moment of 600 ton meters. So we add up the weight column, 60,000 plus 100 minus 900 is 59,200 tons. We add the vertical moment column, 720,000 plus 300 minus 2,250 plus 600 is 718,650 ton meters. Now they're asking us to calculate the kg of the vessel, the so the formula for your kg is the vertical moment divided by your total weight. So in the table we've calculated the vertical moment to be 718,650 We're going to divide this by the total weight, which we calculated as being 59,200. So we end up with a new kg of 12.14 meters.